when y'all comment, it's me that y'all are commenting to. I'd be responding to y'all, but today we decided that I'm going to sit down and read some of them. So without further ado, let's start with this one. So Derek says, it's not his fault his zodiac sign is controlling him. This was on our zodiac signs video. And basically, Kalev was saying that, you know, it's job. Like I job, that's it. It's the devil, demons. A job is a demonic spirit, you know, the devil, you know, evil spirit. That's what it is. And just, but it's a Creole word, job. All of that. Um, I'm pretty sure this was like a sarcastic, funny comment. That's how I took it at least. So yeah, you know, it's not his fault that he's being a bad person because he's a Scorpio. That's, that's pretty much what it is, you guys. But in all seriousness, we know that all deities and other entities that are trying to place any type of control or power over your life, that's that's not good. As a Christian, you know, the only power or spirit that is over you is the Holy Spirit. And that's the only one that you should be submitting to. So this one is funny. This is an old one from our, uh, <laughs> from our should relationships be private or secret video. The question posed was, why do people want to keep the relationships private or secret? And our favorite, favorite host, Faith Up Sam, he said, it's because of the other chicks. And to be honest, that's what it is. That's what it is. Um, <laughs> a lot of times when people like, you know, they don't, they don't want to post their significant others or they're just secretive, not private, secretive, because they are two different things with two different meanings. When they're secretive about it, it's because they are being unfaithful, uh, which is that sucks. It's, it is it is what it is that's how things are nowadays i really liked this comment because it made me think this was in the zodiac sign video too i believe um we had mentioned how people use their zodiac signs as a way to excuse bad behavior and this person said think about how many things you say to yourself and others that is an excuse for bad behaviors First justifies a selfish decision. It is simply a byproduct of modern society. Let's all just accept it and move on. My question is why? Why do we have to accept being bad people? Because everybody's a bad person. That's not... What sense does that make? Like, do we want to grow up and bring children into a world where we're all just bad people? Like, why don't we try to be better as a society, you know? Of course, there's still going to be bad people, but if the common collective, you know, they take the initiative to unlearn all the toxicity and all the all the bad things that are so normalized nowadays, and we get back to how life is supposed to be according to the Bible and according to God's word, don't you think that'll make the world a better place? Why do we want to sit here and be so comfortable and sin, you know? Hopefully, hopefully, before before Jesus comes, we, people get it together and you know we realize that we need to we need to we need to get it together because ugh, it's, a little, it's a little ghetto out here y'all just a little bit um and our last comment comes from miss rebecca she is a very a very loyal watcher so thank you rebecca for always watching and commenting we see you i appreciate you girl um she says also if there's anything telling humans who they are, it is a form of control. You're not making a decision on who you are. When people hear your birthday, they usually say you're this or that. Insert zodiac sign. It is kind of it kind of automatically tells you how you should behave. That's exactly what I just said. But this 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 last sentence, she ate, she ate a little bit. She says, nah, I'm a child of God, co-heir of Jesus Christ, a part of the royal priesthood. And a holy nation. Come on, girl, like, what do I even need to say to that? For like, I think she, she, she hit the nail on the head. You know, like, we're not, we're, we're called apart as children of God. We're not a part of what everybody else is doing. We don't need to identify as what they are. We don't need to label ourselves or, or box ourselves into these categories because it's not, it's not for us. You know. It's not what we believe. It's not the truth that we believe. It's not our truth. It's not the truth of the Bible. It's not God's truth. So why do I need to sit here and say, I'm this, I'm not, I'm not, I'm a child of God. That's, that's all I am. Anyways, 
I'm, I hope you guys loved this little mini series. I hope you guys want to stick around for more because I love doing these. This is actually so fun. I love responding to your guys' comments. Make sure to comment more, subscribe, follow, and I'll see you again with another video from ta to ta to ta tap in. Good evening, family. This is your girl, Evie, and welcome to my brand new series called Evening with Evie. I'm excited. So we're going to go straight to it. So, you know, I'm very excited that I am part of your evening. And I just want to ask, how was your day today? Because I know it has been a lot. I was dealing with the family, with kids, work, or even school. So I was thinking, because today it was a rough day, right? So I was thinking, like, as I was helping my people, I was helping family and friends, and I was like, I don't think I did enough. I don't think it was enough. I don't think they even appreciate what I was doing. So I was questioning myself, and I was like, am I even good enough for them? So I asked, then I was thinking of you guys. So I asked, you know, are you, are you doing enough for your people? So I, I, I wrote something for you guys to share with you guys, and I called it not good enough. I feel like that's the best way for me to talk to you guys in this evening because when you're on your bed, you're laying down, you're looking at the ceiling and you just take that deep breath and, you know, it's like, oh my God, that was a long day. And you feel like all the pressure just, you know, fall on you. So I wrote this and I wanted to share. We can talk about it. We can go in detail and I just wanted to read it for you guys. So I said to my haters out there, I said, not good enough. This world is too tough. Life treating me so rough for you to think I am not good enough. Instead of you giving me love, you're using me as a stepping tool to ascend above. Even though your life is built on bluff, yet my effort is still not enough. I want to hear, you know, like a good job, but instead you're just like a thief. You rob me of my joy, just like the devil. You come to steal, kill, and destroy. So my action is pure entertainment just for you to enjoy. Now I started with you against me and be my own enemy just to fulfill your own perspective of who you want me to be. Now my evening is filled with negativity and as I look up in the ceiling, in my mind I planted those bad seeds just to harvest in the morning stress, depression, and anxiety. So let me do your favor, remind you that I ain't no people pleaser. And since I know a maker who remind me that I am fearfully and wonderfully made, so I shouldn't be afraid when he traded his life for mine and allowed me to be who he called me to be. So it's okay if y'all can be pleased and I'm not here to fulfill y'all will, but his. So do you, let me tell myself I did good and tomorrow I'll start brand new. So this is a little thing I was thinking, I wrote it today. As I was thinking about it, I was like, what would I tell people that's always telling me to do more and pour more? And, you know, you're not receiving nothing. So when I wrote this piece and I was thinking, you know, you're not here for people and we cannot please people. We cannot because the heart is very deceitful. So they might like something today and tomorrow they probably want more from you. So instead of pleasing others, you should do what God called you to be. Follow his purpose. Be who he wants you to be, not what your parents want you to be, not what your friends want you to be, not what your partner, your boss, your kids want you to be, but who God called you to be. And it's going to be hard when you are the one that needs to push yourself up to wake up in the morning. So as we spending this little evenings together, of course, I just want to say planted good seeds so tomorrow you can have harvest, you know, positivity. So you, as the Bible said, Joy come in the morning. But if your evening is so stressful, if you cannot do nothing in your evening, you cannot relax, I don't think you'll get the joy. You're just going to harvest, you know, the stress, just depression. And see it just as another day. When God gives you a beautiful morning, by his grace and mercy, you're able to do more. So this is how I wanted to start this little series, you know, Evening with Evie. We're going to have some good topic. We're going to have some juicy things we're going to talk about. But that's how I wanted to start it. How was your day? And are you good enough for people or are you good enough for God? Bye. <laughs> what to do, everybody? It's your boy Breezy. We back here with another video. But this series is going to be called Breeze Through It Breezy. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yo, 
<laughs> Cut that out. But yeah, that's lit. But all right. So in this series, in our first episode, we're going to talk about friendships real quick. Now, y'all ever had a friendship that y'all were jealous of? I definitely had my fair share of those. I'm just going to say a couple of things that going to help you because it helped me. So my, here, my job here is to help you guys. I've definitely had a couple of friendships I was jealous of. And those who are watching those videos, my friends, they know who they are. I was jealous of their friendship that they had with other people because they did things that I wanted to do. But I figured, what's the point of being jealous? Why not be the friend that I always wanted? So after years of being jealous, I started to be that friend. You know, I started being that friend that's always calling, that's always texting, you know, that's trying to plan things or going out or even trying to spend money, you know, stuff like that. I just started being that friend. And then later on, I found myself not being jealous anymore. I found myself not even being worried about being jealous or even worried about those other friendships that they had because I knew that the friendship that me and this so-and-so, that me and this other friend had was solid. Why? Because I was working hard. Shout out to all my dolls out there that's jealous. You know, man, you know, or woman, don't be jealous. Just try to work and try to be that friend. You want somebody that's calling you every day, so you start calling them every day. And then trust me, they will realize it because once they don't, if they don't and they, they stubborn, they don't, you got, they got the call, you got the call logs, you know, you got receipts. Y'all been calling, I've been doing it, doing that. So you can show that you've been doing your part, you know? So just start. If you want somebody that calls you every day, call them. You want somebody that texts you, text them. You want somebody to take you out and plan trips, what? You start doing that. And once you start doing that, you realize that you will start to grow. You'll be a different person. You'll be an initiator and not and not just a follower. Don't try to be competitive with anybody else. Just be the best you that you can be. And trust me, everything will fall into place. It's Breeze Through with Breezy. Let me know in the comments anything now that y'all want Breezy to breeze through. All right? So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And we love you.